My name is Aaron, and thank you for watching this episode of Product Introduction. Today we'll be talking about the redundant powers from Zeal. Zeal is a brand powered by XRUSA Group. Redundant power. In the last episode, we talked about some of the features and how they work. And today, we're actually going to put them all together with a computer system. Hope you're excited, as I am, to see. And uh, let's get started. Now, this is one of our best sellers, the D300. Uh, this is not the uh, standard color. So you see the gold bezels here. Um, this is a special project or OEM ODM. Uh, definitely contact us if you do have uh, special colors that you want to have on your uh, on your chassis. And um, over here, uh, we took out one drive cage, but in the, the original um, D300, uh, you're gonna have the drive cages here, no problem. And I'm um, just gonna let's show you quickly the back setup of what we did. Uh, put a mini ITX board in here. Uh, got the CPU. Um, we have the hard drive over here hooked up. Also the memory. So this is a very, very simple, plain setup. Probably not gonna take more than, let's say, 100, 200 watts of power. Uh, so it's, it is really redundant to uh, put a redundant power in this thing. But uh, for demonstrations purposes, yeah, this is something that I think we can, we can work on. And um, of course, we have the, the back fans over here. They also come uh, standard on the chassis. So we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, redundant power on this model and to, to show you exactly how it will look like once we mount that on. So first of all, I unscrewed um, or untightened the screw sets here on the side of the wall that secures the wall of the chassis to the back plate. Uh, by doing this, I give it some more space so when we slide the power supply into the slot, it's not gonna get into, uh, not gonna get into uh, bumps by the, at the end of the screws. I strongly recommend that you remove these um, to, uh, to another side so that uh, it doesn't get blocked in the way by the chassis. But we'll do that in another uh, presentation next day, some other time. Now, I already removed the brackets for you guys. So this one is the ISR the ZO IS-1000R3KP model. And uh, it had brackets over here uh, we need to mount into, let's say, a 4U chassis. But I removed them for you, um, so we can skip the time. And um, so we're gonna slide this by putting them in the back of the chassis. Now, once you align the power supply holes and the back plate, the uh, you should immediately immediately tighten the screws, so you have a one solid, sturdy body, chassis body again. Um, all right. Okay, so these are tightened. Okay, now screw them down. Okay, and one more here. Should do the job. Again, this is a 1000 watt redundant power into our D300 model. we go two should do the job and yeah, make sure you pull it uh, they're secure hook up hold the latch pull it the module should come right up okay now the rest we will just connect the power to the hard drive and the motherboard and um, that should be it so I'm going to take the power cords here I only have one hard drive but unlike many of you guys maybe have uh, a whole set of hard drives lined up. So we want to find the motherboard, and I will realize, oh no, this motherboard is missing. It has 24 pins, and this motherboard uh, connector only has 20 pins. Hmm, what should we do? Well, it just so happens that iStar USA, uh, part of our Zero brand, we also carry power supply cables, and so here is the 24 pin to 20 pin and then you just put this on one end make sure it's a secure fit on the other side and uh, you just plug this into the motherboard like so there you go nice and secure 
and then you just take one of the molex and we'll just plug that into um, let's find the longest one and we'll just plug that plug that into the hard drive Over here. okay seems like our system is ready to go all we need to do just get some AC uh, cables and then uh, plug that into the power supply and the system should be uh, ready to go let's mount this on the rack so we have uh, reverse mounted the chassis onto a rack. Now this is our WJ rack by our uh, Clay Tech brand. The D300 normally doesn't mount like this, but for today's pr presentation's purposes, uh, we reverse mounted it, uh, removed the ears, so then you can show the back and see how it works at the same time the, the computer turns on. So now we have plugged in the power supplies here, and uh, you see the orange light already on meaning that they're on standby power and so all we have to do is just hit the on switch and they should turn green so as you see the system's up we're running the XP it's a little bit old but nevertheless suitable for just the testing now um, the system's up so we're going to turn our attention here to the power supply Again, this is a three module power supply. So two of them are sharing the load. This is a 1000 watt power supply. So the two of them are sharing the 500 and the last one is on standby. Now let's say one of them, one of them failed. Um, you will get the notice, the uh, power supply will beep. All you have to do is to pull out the bad power supply. And now these are sharing the load. Get these replaced or repaired immediately. So once you get the new one back, Plug them back in, like so. And again, now you're at full redundancy again. Doesn't matter if the top one or the middle one or the bottom one. This is a hot swap redundant power supply. And with this in your system, you can ensure that your investment is protected, your clients are happy, and your users, well, they don't get any downtimes. So this is Aaron Wang and uh, signing off from iStar USA. Again, this is the Zeal power supply powered by iStar USA Group. Uh, definitely visit our website at www.istarusa.com. You can hit the Zeal icon, it'll lead you to all the power supplies. And uh, before I go, just like to say thank you again for watching. Uh, the product introduction is our first product demo and uh, we have many more to come. And uh, we have uh, trade shows coming up as well, IC West and NAB. Definitely head our website to see which booth we are at and then go ahead and visit us at the shows. Have a great one.